The LPGA visited the French Alps last week for its newly appointed fifth and final major of the season, the Evian Championship. One player looking to make a name for herself, if she hasn't by default already, was Cheyenne Woods, niece of the world number one, Tiger. Um, having the last name of Woods, there is, of course, that pressure because Tiger's already kind of led the pathway and led, you know, his own reputation with the last name of Woods. But I've had the last name of Woods my entire life and I've played golf since I was five years old. So it's something that I've always had and it's nothing new for me. And playing professionally now, it's a little bit on a larger scale. But, um, you know, for me, it's all about my personal goals. When I just come out here, I know what I want to achieve and prove to myself and uh, accomplish as much as I can. So um, that's really not, you know, a thought when I come out here is the pressure or anything like that with the name. Cheyenne proved her talent by winning more than 30 amateur events in the U.S. before turning pro. She secured her first professional title last season on the Suncoast Tour and now applies her trade on the Ladies' European Tour. Yeah, I've been playing the Ladies' European Tour this entire season and it's been great. Um, you know, I love playing European Tour. The tournaments are run so well, the girls are really nice and the competition's been awesome. I've been able to travel the world for the first time in my life and I've learned a lot and I think that my game has matured and just gotten a whole lot better playing this year. And um, I just got through the first stage of LPGA qualifying and I have the second stage in October, so I'm just getting ready for that now. Yes, Cheyenne's heart and her ultimate ambitions are focused back home where she'd like to compete on the LPGA Tour, but she's truly valued her time in Europe and feels she's a better golfer for opting to play on the LET this year. You know, it's a great option rather than staying in the States and maybe playing mini tour events in the meantime of, you know, Q schools. I grew up watching the LPGA and that's where I've always wanted to be, so it's definitely my main goal and hopefully this summer and October and December, I'll be able to get through it. Then move onward and upward. Be, you know, one of the names that people look for on the top of the leaderboards, and not because of being Tiger with Denise, but because of my game and, you know, be respected for my skill also. After graduating in journalism from University at Wake Forest, Cheyenne has been spending a bit of time in front of the cameras, presenting for the US networks at the Men's US Open and at the PGA Championship. And it's something that I've always been interested in, getting into media broadcasting or something with the media. I think being in the spotlight with my name has kind of sparked an interest with me. I've always had the interviews, I've always had the cameras in my face, so it's something that I've kind of grown up with and kind of grown an interest with. So hopefully sometime in my golf career or in the future I can get into that. Tiger Woods' late father Earl is credited with starting Cheyenne's career when, as a toddler, she grasped the golf club in the same garage where it all started for her famous uncle, who she keeps a close eye on. Yeah, always. I mean, he's the favorite, my favorite golfer to watch. Um, he's always so exciting to watch, regardless of how he's playing. Um, so it's great to see him out there playing well, and, you know, it's, it's always good to see Tiger on top. Talented, articulate and focused, Cheyenne wears her famous name lightly but intends to make a wood-size impact on the women's game.